Hello guys, this video will show you how it can be beneficial to temporarily detach your object. But real quick guys, if you're looking for what I consider to be the best 3D modeling tutorial on the internet, I recommend checking out my Udemy course. It's got tutorials on Blender, 3ds Max, CAD programs such as Plasticity and Moai 3D, and a lot of ZBrush as well. So if you want to master a variety of programs to really bring your skills up to the next level and master 3ds Max, Blender, ZBrush, and Plasticity, be sure to check out that course, link is in the description. Let's continue. So here I'm just doing my daily warm up, just modeling some very sci-fi details, just kind of experimenting with having a dense mesh and being able to easily add lots of little things here while still maintaining good topology. All right, but let's say right here in the bottom, I want to have this cool little like bump effect, right? So in fact, uh, let's add, add a plan on top. Let's actually make it, uh, you know, the top and bottom. So if I select this and I go into selection and I go into select uh, patterns and then checker, right? You can see I've got that set to control shift one. So as I press control shift one, it's going to select that pattern. But the problem is it's going to go across the entire mesh. So in this situation, I can activate by angle, select this and detach this, not as a clone, all right, and so now if I select any random face here and then press my hotkey, you notice how I'm able to get this checker pattern without anything else. So now I can go and actually bevel this, you know, get what I'm after, for example. Now I can select this and I can reattach it. I can quickly weld those vertices as well. And as you can see, now I'm able to get that cool effect that I was going for. So I can reattach it. Now for the bottom, let's do something different. For the bottom, let's go ahead and also select that and detach it. But for this one, let me go into modeling, polygon modeling generate topology and switch it to this one right here. All right, so now I've got this happening and I can now reattach it. And the cool thing about that is that it actually maintains the topological connection. So the vertices are still in the same position, which means it's now able to weld back together. Now, you notice there's a problem happening here, but we can kind of solve that by inserting a loop through here to kind of isolate that problem area. So notice how, if I do some new Elpano modifier, insert a loop through here, notice how that can solve the problem right there. And I may want to have another loop going through here on the inside. So I can go ahead and kind of inset that as well. But now what I can do is, for example, we convert that to edges. All right, and now I can, for example, maybe extrude that. Get this cool little uh, effect right here. So as you can see, guys, Temporal detaching parts of your mesh to do various things, so it can be very useful. So, thank you for watching and take care.